Perfect. You got the John Wayne. Yeah, 20 movies. Yeah, I just gotta watch John Wayne. Just so you know, there's a coffee cup around here with coffee in it. It's not for sale. Gotcha. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Travis and my wife Stacy and I, we go to garage sales, rummage sales, and estate sales, and we look for undervalued items to flip for a profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. Just got to the sale, so let's see what we can find today. This one's newer too. Oh, it is? Yeah. Looks really white. Wipe it out. I know. It says 1993. Looks cool. Ooh, it's chilly. Mm hmm? Ooh, sloppy world. <laughs> Looks like the Goosebumps show we watched. Mm hmm. Cool. They do look cool, but I don't know. See, these ones are like the old pictures. Do you want this? Uh, maybe. I'll think about it. Alright, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. How much are your games? Two dollars. Two dollars. We'll say two dollars like if it has everything. Mm -hmm. For the ones that don't have covers, a dollar. Got it. Okay, like something like that. Yeah. Okay. How much is the Wii? Yeah, it's on the front. Oh, it's on the front. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like oh, 100. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Or they might negotiate yeah. on that. Yeah. No problem. You want to negotiate on that? They can. This is a long takeaway, so. Yeah. No, no problem. I'll probably just grab a couple games. Yeah. That's six of them. This is just the manuals, but. One, two, three, four. Five, I do six. think. I think this one is yeah. just like... Wait, a, that's music. That's oh, like it's just music? music. Like oh, like a CD. Oh, the history. Oh, a soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll probably pass on that. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, no problem. That's cool. Gotcha. So I got five, five games then. So $10. I have a, um, a 360. A 360? Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. Well, thank you guys so much. Yep. And have a good rest of your day. You too. All right, thank you. you yeah, I got some more stuff. What do you think? <laughs> do you like this over here? Yeah. Right here, Super Mario. What is it? So uh, this is like the old school TV show. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three to set a complete series. Hmm. We'll grab this Civil War too for three. Okay. 
Say, so was it just the one book that you wanted? It was just the one. Oh, it was just the one. Yeah, it was just the one. It's all good. You want to do 50 cents? Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll do 50 cents. I have 50 cents. Yeah, thank you. Let me see the book. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, man. I think that's going to be it. All right, we're good today? All right, you guys have a good day. Simpsons chest, I don't know about the pieces, but no, it doesn't have the board. It doesn't have the board, is this the board? Well, at least they told you it's missing a van, a blue car. Ten dollars complete, except for the animals. Lower. Hey, good morning. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Good. Doing pretty good. All right. I guess I gotta end up total enough so I know what I This, my part is four. Okay. So okay. Perfect. You got the John Wayne. Yeah. Movie. Just so you know, there's a coffee cup around here with coffee in it. It's not for sale. Gotcha. I, 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 think, I think the husband is getting ready for like uh, the apocalypse. How much are your shoes? Uh, well, one pair is brand new, but the rest of them are like five dollars. Um, are the boots? The sandals. The sandals are five dollars. Okay. But except for this one, this is brand new. Oh, okay. They're fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. okay. Uh, Carrie, how much are the extension cords? Uh, five bucks a piece. Thank you. There you. Are they? Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm sure she'd like them. Does she need a pair? I mean, these are the style sandals she likes. Yeah. All right.
<laughs> we'll do this. You take that? Yeah. You know it has no stakes. No stakes, okay. yeah, okay. <laughs> but, no, no, it's mine. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. It's brand new. Yeah, just no stakes. Yeah. Gotcha. I think you could just get some tent stakes up at Yeah, you'll probably Walmart. find some. <laughs> Alright, well thank you so much. Uh -huh. Have a good day. Hey, good morning. What are your coolers? Um, so I marked them for... Oh, is there a mark on it? No, I'm you're, sorry. You're, no you're okay. Um, oh, 150, but I, like gotcha. I said, I'm open to less. Gotcha. <laughs> you want that? Yeah. So far? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's four wine glasses. Oh. Um, I can take one out um, if you're interested in doing that. Yeah, I figured it was safer to, like, they're decent wine glasses, so I'm like, yeah. I'll just leave them wrapped and that way, like... Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you need a bag for those? No, that's bad. Right. Oh, let's okay. carry on. Oh, did you want your container back? Oh, no. Okay. No? Okay. okay. Did you look at the two in the box? Yeah, they're cool. I don't know. Um, yeah, if those are something well. you're interested in and want to think about it and I don't sell them, do you mm -hmm. want me to just give you my cell phone number and you can sure. text me? Yeah, that'd be great. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, right? Okay. okay. Thank you. Have a good day. So we took the seller's phone number and we're going to give her a call back and see if maybe she wants to go down on the price a little bit on these Yeti coolers. Um, the ones that were in the boxes, those were still brand new and she wanted pretty much what they were going for if I was to resell them. So really not any profit to be made there. And the ones that were used, she wanted a little bit less, but still not enough to make any profit on. So I had to pass on those, unfortunately. But she had a lot of Yeti coolers, so I'm going to reach out to her, like I said. But if you guys do see any Yeti coolers out in the wild, definitely comp them out because some of them can be worth some really good money, even used. It's fine. Sally costume. That's for XXXL. Seen it? I'll look through these. Okay. Hold on to this. Anything else? No, you want this? No. No, that would be cool. It's only like 15, 10, 15. 
Alright. Alright. Is that it? Yeah, a little Kermit. A little dirty. Yeah, this side is cool. You think you can clean him? No, I could try. Alright, so I'll try that. Hi, oh, you ready? Okay. We have a pile over here if someone could come take a look. Oh, sorry. Sorry, are you okay? Yeah. Mm, 10 bucks for all of it. Easy enough. Do you have any Christmas I do not. No? Okay. Thank you. No worries. No, thank you. All right, thanks. All right, guys, so today was a great day at garage sales. Isn't it always great, like, when you started a garage sale and you find a whole bunch of stuff? Yes. Versus, like, that. the first couple you go to and you find nothing? Yes. It always, like, sets, like, a good tone for the day when yeah. you find stuff at the first sale. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. So, at the first sale, I found a whole bunch of Wii stuff, some pretty good games. Mm -hmm. They did have that special edition of the red Wii. Um, so, that one usually goes for a little bit more than the white Wii or the black Wii. So, if I do see those, I'll try to pick them up, but they wanted 100 for it. The console by itself was only worth about 50 but just really cool to see the you know special edition Wii out there. Are you surprised that they sold the game separate from the red Wii? Well he had two dollars on the game so oh, yeah. I thought it was a hundred for everything. I mean that's what I thought too but I mean I, I was a little bit surprised that he sold some of the games but you know he had a marked at two dollars a piece so. Are there any other special edition Wiis or is it just the red white and black? Um, there's a blue Wii as well, but it's not I don't, It's not like special edition, it's just a different colorway. Okay. But the red one was for like a Mario anniversary. Oh. I believe it was the 25th anniversary. Oh. I'm not 100% sure if you guys want to correct me in the comments, but I think it was for something like that. So that's okay. why it's red. So you found the red Wii, and yeah. then I found some red silverware that I thought was cool. Yeah. It was unbranded, but I just like the style. So. Yeah. And it was a good price. It was $3. Yeah. $3. So and it was a big set. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They also had some anime books that I was looking at, but none of them really went for that much money. I comped some of them out. Um, and then I did at the very end, like, I feel like I kept going back and getting more stuff. But I, I know, found, you kept seeing stuff as you were trying yeah, to leave. Yeah, right. That's I found funny. that Simpsons chest was on the very bottom of the board game. So yeah. I think that's pretty good. Maybe like 30 bucks, I think. So, you know, I don't know. I thought it was a cool pickup. I've never seen the Simpsons chest before. So I feel like everything Simpsons that I've looked up, I always think that Simpsons stuff is going to be good, but then yeah. when I look it up, it's not worth anything. I know. <laughs> yeah. There was a couple of videos ago, you guys saw that Simpsons operation. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was going to be like great and mm -hmm. it just wasn't. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Hit or miss, who knows. And then at the next sale that we went to, there was a whole bunch of Yetis. A couple were used, a couple were new. The yeah. lady said that her husband, I don't know if he collected Yetis or she said that he bought too many. So yeah. what does that mean? I don't know. How do you buy too many Yetis? They're expensive. Maybe maybe you thought you were going to use a whole bunch and then you just end up not. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. But she had a lot. Yeah, she had a whole bunch of Yeti coolers. They're different sizes. Yeah. Some are like 25 gallon, some are bigger ones like 45 gallon. But she wanted too much for them, so unfortunately we didn't buy those. But we did get her phone number and she said, you know, just call me if you guys change your mind. And it seemed like she would maybe negotiate a little bit. If it didn't sell. If it didn't sell. But if you guys find Yetis out in the wild, definitely cop them out because some of them can go for some really good money, even the used ones. So, you know, keep an eye out for those. The last grass sale that we went to that day was great. Yeah. We found a lot of good stuff. I know, I know. I, I always say this all the time. It always surprises me that like the last the garage sale, we're yeah. going to find a whole bunch of stuff. I'm thinking it's the end of the day. There's not going to be that much left. Yeah. It's far from the truth. So the first thing that I found was this Nightmare Before Christmas Sally costume. I thought this was going to be really good. That's what I thought. <laughs> it looked like it was in great shape. We took it out. I know. There wasn't it's any like stains. brand new. Like I don't even know if she wore it. It has yeah. the, the hair piece. It has everything in it. But it's only like $25, so I was surprised. I know. But you always gotta check costumes, because some costumes can be really good. Yeah, and especially when it comes up to Halloween season, yeah. they can go up in price. Right. So we, I don't, we're not gonna list this right now. We're, no, I'm gonna wait until closer to Halloween. Yeah. But if you do if you do pick up Halloween costumes, always make sure you take the stuff out and make sure it has all the pieces, because yeah. if it's not complete, then it's not gonna be worth right. as much. There's but. been many of times where we didn't take the costume out, and there's tears, holes, yeah. ribs, and yeah. you know, it's not, it's not great. Yes. Yeah. And then the next thing that I found, she had a mini, like, a mini mouse box. So I opened it up and there was a bunch of calico critter stuff inside. So I was excited. Nice. Um, we only pick up calico critters if it's a good price. Yeah. Uh, I feel like they're usually priced up at garage sales. Usually. I don't know why. Yeah. If you guys remember in a couple of videos ago where I picked up that large American girl like portrait book. Yeah. She had like two calico critters and something else for like $10. It was, yeah. it was too much. But I think this lot is way better. Yeah. So we got everything at that garage sale for $10 as you guys saw in the video. So that whole box of calico critters it had a ton of figures, uh, furniture, a lot of little tiny Tiny accessories like food stuff, things for the kitchen, and then more furniture. And more so furniture. I definitely thought this was worth it to pick up. Yeah. Um, and if you only find small lots, you can always pick them up and just wait till you find more and then group it together to make a big lot. But Calico, Calico Critter stuff is pretty good. Yeah. So I was really happy to find that. Nice. Good price. Good price. And also with the figures, some of them are worth more than others. So always look through the figures first and comp them out. Right. Because you could sell those separately. True. Yeah. True. 
And I also was looking through the DVDs, and there was a couple of anime DVDs that I was looking at, you know, coming full, full circle from the anime books from the first sale. Yeah. But um, I combed some of them out, and some of them seemed to be going for a decent amount. The one that was like, what was it called, like the Black Sea Saga. So it was open, like the cellophane was open, but the actual DVDs inside of it were still sealed and oh, new. Okay. So they were new, it just wasn't like new and completely sealed. So yeah. I thought that was good. And then that now and then was another like series. So I picked both of those up. So I don't really know that much about anime books or media, but every time I see them, I do try to comp them out. Me too. Just to see if they're, you know, valuable. And a lot of times they're not, and which is really surprising. I've never found anything anime that's valuable, but I feel like I, I feel like I see other people pick it up and right. it's always good it's always good <laughs> yeah. like some of the comic books with all the artwork and stuff yeah. it looks great and then i comp it out and it's not worth that much mm -hmm. so it's definitely a hit or miss but like i said usually i'll comp some things out just to see and some of these dvds were pretty good and then the best thing that we found at that garage sale is a <laughs> kermit puppet <laughs> this thing is cool yeah where'd you find it okay so at that sale they had a big mountain of plush okay and i was digging through it and this was the only thing that i found in there i didn't really look anything else up but right. i just saw that i saw it in your pile i was like what is this thing? yeah yeah um i like picking up puppets some puppets are pretty good but i didn't comp this out i just thought it was cool it was a puppet so mm -hmm. i thought i would try it and it is pretty good yeah so on my bolo list my ultimate bolo list of things that i want to find in the wild has been a kermit it's from 1979. It's a little bean bag, and he's like kind of fuzzy looking. Okay. And it's worth depending depending on condition. It's worth between 100 and 200 dollars. Gotcha. So we haven't found it yet. Not yet. But I'm putting it out there. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, you found the My Pet Monster. <laughs> yeah. That was on your Bolo plush list. Yes. So I mean, it's gonna happen. I hope so. Yeah. But yeah, I was excited to find him. I just thought it was cool and it's different. I hadn't seen a Kermit uh, puppet before, so. Nice. Yeah. Awesome pickup. Thanks. So make sure you guys always keep an eye out for the little. Uh, Kermit beanbag plush because it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Keep her out for it. Yeah. So overall, we had a fantastic day at garage sales. How was your guys' this weekend? Tell us what the best thing you found in a comment below. Yeah, I love to hear what you guys are finding out there. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and now we're going to show you what everything is worth. Bye, guys. Bye.